How's it going guys? So it's still day 14 right now, but we are coming upon day 15 pretty quickly. Vacation over. I am heading home back to Casper, Wyoming, United States. So what's interesting about this flight is that this is probably going to be the longest day of my life. My flight takes off at 11.10 p.m. Friday, which means just 50 minutes into my flight, it will be Saturday. The travel time from when I take off to when I arrive back home in Casper will be roughly 35, 36 hours. 50 minutes into my flight, it will be Saturday. And then 35 hours later, it will still be Saturday. I am just prepared for just hours and hours of sitting, waiting, lying. Some boredom, maybe some movies, maybe some sleeping, some eating. This has been one heck of an adventure and I am so grateful for everything that's happened this, these past two weeks. So we'll be boarding our first flight soon. Uh, first layover is back in Dubai. So I will see you guys later. You'll probably get a jump cut. I'll probably have more facial hair by that point. And yeah, I'll see you in Dubai. sure look different, don't I? You know how in uh, TV shows it seems like the actors seem to get worse with age? Well, that's going to be me this entire vlog. So we are in Dubai right now. It's currently 11 a.m. back in the Philippines, which means I've been traveling for about 11 hours now. And even though it's 11 in the Philippines, the sun is just rising here in Dubai. So day's been going for 11 hours and the sun's just rising. So this will be my connection to Los Angeles back to the United States. Now, according to Wikipedia, this flight from Dubai to Los Angeles is the 12th longest passenger route in the world. I have never ever been on a flight this long. And do you know what the best part is? I'm going to be taking you with me. That's right. Following this video will be a 16 part series, each one one hour long, documenting the entire flight. From the moment we leave the gate in Dubai to Los Angeles, you will be there for the whole thing, the whole 16 hours of it, and I am kidding, of course, I am not going to do that to you. Yeah, I won't be filming any of the trip. I'll just be watching movies, sleeping, eating, doing whatever it is to pass the time. It's just going to be a really, really long day. So for you, it's going to be just a jump cut, maybe a little animation graphic or something, but for me, it's going to be a 16 hour adventure. More than that, since it's not even time to board yet. So yeah, I'll see you on the other side. I am officially back in the United States. I feel terrible. 
So I am at LAX right now. I just finished going through customs. I just need to pick up my bag. The flight was long, but it really wasn't that bad. For a good chunk of the flight, I just listened to some, uh, you know, traditional Filipino music. I also watched a whole bunch of movies, slept a little, ate a little, and, you know, just passed the time. It really wasn't bad at all. So I'm just going to collect my bags and then I'm going to uh, tell you some more. So due to a delay, my initial flight out of Manila left at almost exactly midnight Saturday. Well, I've been traveling for 31 hours now, and it is 3 p.m. Saturday. This has been such a long day. I can't believe that it is even one day, but we're almost home. I have a very fast connection in Salt Lake City, so I might not vlog at the SLC airport. So if I don't see you there, then I will see you in Casper. Salt Lake City. So I made it to my gate for my final flight of the trip. Back in LAX, our plane finished boarding like 20 minutes early, so the, we left the gate really, really early and got into uh, SLC much earlier than expected. Which is perfect because not only is this by far the shortest layover of the trip, but I had to literally walk from one end of the airport all the way to the other end, so Having as much time to do that, not coming in late, not having to pick up baggage, was fantastic. So not much else to report here. I'm just going to wait for my flight and check back in in Casper. I'll see you guys then. And we are back in Casper. Oh man, it good, feels good to be in this tiny airport again. And now we just have the long walk back to the car. Hopefully it's not covered in snow. Well, I don't see much snow around. It's crazy dark out, but there it is. Oh, it's so good to see this car again. All right. I hope I don't drive like I'm in the Philippines. Take away something from that country. It is so awesome seeing so few cars on the street. I will never take no traffic for granted ever again. <sighs> Made it. Home sweet home. Oops. So it is currently about 9.30 p.m. local time in Casper. When we departed, it was about uh, midnight in Manila, Saturday morning, and it's still Saturday night. I have been traveling for 36 and a half hours, and it is still one day. Uh, still, it's so, so good to be home. Ah, uh, yes, I miss being home, but I have work on Monday. I'm going back to the Philippines. And we've reached the end of the travel vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the sights, the parks, and the adventures that we had in these past couple of days. This may be the end of the travel vlog, but the summer's just getting started. I still have a lot to show you guys, both around the United States and around the world, so stay tuned for that. But as for Dubai and the Philippines, this is the conclusion of the trip. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope that you enjoyed the trip. But I'll see you all in the next adventure. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. Take care.